Hey, good top of the morning to you, whosoever's. This is Tony Whosoever's reporting live behind enemy lines, coming to you live from the Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, again, guys, we are inside uh, the, the the body of of Nebuchadnezzar, the, the ten toes of Daniel. That's where we're at prophetically. Uh, we're reporting live from the Nebuchadnezzar. Uh, if anybody knows what that is, it's, if you remember the movie The Matrix, where they were behind enemy lines, and and, and the ship was called the Nebuchadnezzar, um, and they had a lot of they had a, a lot of televisions. So again, guys, what is happening in the world today? Um, the CIA said this morning um, that Iran is going to attack Russia. Uh, Within the next two days, Israel warns Iran of a massive regional war if directly attacked. Uh, with with Israel's embassies around the world on heightened state of alert, an extra IDF reservist called up and home and weekend leave. All combat troops have been abruptly canceled Thursday. The Israeli population is anxiously awaiting a response. Uh, another thing, you, if you look at, the, the people are ransacking the, the, the food supplies at the grocery stores in Israel. Uh, there's a great video of them doing that. Uh, you know, everybody's going to the supermarket and get food in case they attack. They'll have a couple weeks of food. So, as you can tell, the supermarkets are being wiped clean. Um, Tehran has vowed that vengeance is coming soon for the Monday Israel airstrike on its embassy in Damascus. Israel's officials have told Exios late in the day that such an act would take the current conflict into another level, guys. Um, uh, we've been watching here, here in Watsonville, California. We were watching this called the April Nor'ester with heavy, wet snow pounding. Uh, northeast knocks out power for hundreds of thousands of people. Uh, there's storms. There's, there's a prophetic storm coming, and there's a bigger storm. That is coming, which is the the, the, the end times, uh, uh, the weather that comes from God. Um, another thing where there's an agenda uh, today to eradicate biblical Christianity from the American culture. Uh, again, guys, in the latest attack on God's word, Biden Democrats used a high profile opportunity to offend Christians. Days before Easter, they banned religious Christian images at the White House and declared March 31st, Resurrection Sunday, as the Transgender Day of Visibility. Make no mistake, this is a new religion of the left. Vice President Kamala Harris passionately proclaimed, We celebrate transgender and non-binary Americans, and said we won't stop fighting for you. Uh, again, guys, um, remember, uh, masonry uh, is the woman and the man coming together. There's no distinction. That's why in a lot of Masonic ceremonies, guys, you see a lot of men dressing up in drag. Don't know why. Uh, I'll stay out of that one. But I've see, I, I mean, I see it on the street and at the clubs. I'm sure it happens in the higher echelons of, of power. Uh, again, another thing we're seeing, guys, um, uh, Bulgarian police uncover hidden Hamas weapons cache linked to arrests in Germany. Uh, outrage over aid worker deaths is about saving Hamas, not civilians. Uh, Israeli security forces thwart ISIS terrorist attack on East Jerusalem. Um, supporters of ISIS planned an attack. They were busted. Israeli security services thwart uh, yet another, uh, uh, with the CIA's help, there's a warning going out to all Israeli embassies that uh, imminent attack from Iran could be less than two days away. Uh, U.S. is making, looking at media report that Israel used AI to identify bombing targets in Gaza. Um, again, U.S. Iran is viable threat to uh, to Israel's safety. Qatar should have expelled Hamas, senior diplomats officials say. Hospitals instructed to prepare for mass casualties. Uh, in Israel, uh, Netanyahu to Republicans, there is an attempt to ram a Palestinian state down our throats. The Bible says that they're going to be a two-state solution. Uh, I believe Obama's or the Antichrist, the coming beast of Revelation, will divide the land for gain. Dividing the land. Um, again, guys, uh, this is maybe one of the things that uh, Israel gives up. Some land to be able to build the third temple. 
Um, but there will be a third temple, guys. We're heading into the end times. Um, first time in months, Gaza terrorists fire rockets at, at southern Israel. Biden is pissed, warns Netanyahu that U.S. policy depends on Israel's actions. Uh, the IDF chief o says only military pressure will bring hostages home. Uh, Nebraska pro-life senator leaves Democrat Party for GOP after censure for conservative votes. Uh, again, guys, I remember growing up as a, as a Democrat. And, 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 you know, a lot of Democrats were conservative Democrats. There was, there was, I remember in the day, there were true, they were called Truman Democrats. I remember a couple of them were Truman Democrats. Well, you know, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Democrat, uh, like, uh, what's that guy, uh, Robert F. Kennedy, not Robert, uh, John F. Kennedy. I like, I like, you know, my three favorite presidents were probably, uh, um, the 16th president, Abraham Lincoln. And then there was the president, uh, Ronald Reagan, and then the president, uh, uh, John uh, uh, Kennedy, who was assassinated on. Oh, I think they, I think John Kennedy was assassinated by the bankers, my opinion, uh, just because of the numbers, because he was killed on the 33rd degree parallel on November 22nd, November 11, 22nd, 22, 11 and 22 is 33rd, um, right in front of. Was it near? Was it near Masonic Hall? You know, 33, 33, 33. You know, the way they work behind the scenes. I, the only thing I knew that they they weren't happy was is when uh, he started printing our own money. Um, and then, you know, globalists and uh, Illuminati don't like that. You know. Uh, another thing we see in today's thing is. Uh, as war rages, why are Israelis searching for God or even considering Jesus? The question arises, you know, as we head into the end times, guys, don't be surprised that more, most people, a lot of more people are going to be searching for God. Have an extra Bible on you to share the gospel with those around you. Um, every year, tens of thousands of Christians visit the garden tomb that is the empty tomb in jerusalem to reflect the life and death of the miraculous resurrection of jesus the lord but this year the israeli engaged a brutal war against hamas in gaza for almost six months more and more israeli jews than ever before are wrestling with the question they are asking about about the life and death and the life after death or even whether jesus of nazareth might in fact be the jewish messiah and that's the focus of the week's Easter special edition of the Rosenberg Report. Uh, uh, Joe Rosenberg, he's a good, he's a good uh, Bible teacher. He talks about the end times in a lot of his books. Uh, is there any way to know God personally and to be sure we are going to be safe, that we're going to be in heaven forever and ever? Uh, are we trusting what God did on the cross for us and shed his blood and pay the price for all us sinners to have a relationship with God the Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We're asking God to come back or come down. And, you know, as we head into the end times, we're going to see a lot more craziness. You know, uh, we are created beings made in the image of God, and God wants us to have a relationship. And the best way to have a relationship is through the Bible, through Christian fellowship and through prayer, you know, uh, learning the scriptures. You know, the Apostle Paul said, It is written that he appeared at one time before 500 people and appeared on different occasions to make sure the fact that the resurrection will be known widely and that it will be known as a historical fact. And we know that a lot of people don't say, Oh, Jesus was never real. You know, Jesus is really the Son God. Yes, a lot of the Jesuses are the Son. You're right in that. That's Mystery Babylon. But the true Jesus is the Word of God made flesh. It's the Scriptures. It's the Old Testament. It's the New Testament. It's it's all of it. Heaven and, heaven and hell shall pass away, but God's Word won't. So again, guys, it is written. Uh, it is written. It is written. So again, guys, uh, the closer we get to the end times... I'm, I'm going to try to do this five days a week, Monday through Friday. Uh, 
take Sunday Sunday off, maybe maybe leave it early, uh, like at seven to go clean out and wash my 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 Jaguar. I got a nice Jaguar, an old Jaguar. It's a '99. Um, but I I believe that God can use me, and I believe God can use you. I believe God wants to use all of us. You know, we are the part of the body of Christ. We are uh, uh, part of God's plan in reaching the lost. And in really encouraging those who would heed the warnings and heed the call to be saved, to come out of an Adam, to in Christ, to come out of Babylon, these you partakers of her sins, and, and really uh, come out of the world, the flesh, and the devil. Uh, because he wants to enslave mankind, because technically, guys, you're a slave to, to pieces of paper, money. Well, all of us are ens enslaved. We have to have money to survive. We're enslaved uh, to a system. That's not, uh, you might say that uh, the casino always wins. And the world casino, by the Masonic order, the, the bankers, the corporations. By the way, corporations comes from the Latin word corpo, which means body. I believe the corporations, as we head into the end times, are going to be just extensions of the state. Kind of like communism. Uh, get in line. You know. And again, guys... We've already invaded every country in the world, as the, in the United States, through corporations, and we've, you know, put our put our hands in other people's business and and, and, and raped and took uh, their resources, whether it be labor, whether it be gold and silver and precious stones, whether it be natural supplies, uh, uh, but well, we know business, and we know what we're able to sell something for commodities of the world, the banking system, the Babylonian government that's uh, uh, going to rise and put a, uh, go cashless and put a chip in your right hand and your forehead. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, uh, as true as yesterday's lotto numbers. You know, God's word will always come to pass. Um, and, uh, and the closer we get to the end times, we're going to see a lot of lawlessness, a lot of false messiahs, a lot of false teachings, you know, uh, the, you can't get a false teacher to teach you a false doctrine if you if you read the Bible for yourself. Read the Bible for yourself, and then make a make a uh, you know an educated uh, you know an edu If you read your Bible, you'll make an educated conclusion. You know. So again, guys, may the Lord bless you. Be great and be strengthened. The Lord is coming. He's coming quickly. Don't laugh at me. We'll go take a shower. I already had breakfast. In the nombre de Jesucristo. Amen.